Hey, it's Joe from the Commerce Hub product team, and I'm here to share a really exciting update about our quotes tool. Um, so since we launched Commerce Hub, we've been getting a lot of feedback from customers that they want the ability to programmatically generate um, payable artifacts in our system. Well, the wait is over. You can now generate a payable quote via API. Um, and so if you go to our quotes API documentation, you'll see this little call out here for payable quotes. Essentially, we've rolled out these new parameters that will allow you to generate a quote that is payable. Um, so seeing is believing. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you all um, how I deployed this in a custom coded uh, workflow action. And so I'm going to click into custom code here. First, let me get my little head out of the way. Um, and I'm going to just pull up this script. Now, there are some requirements to just generate quotes, generally speaking. Uh, and I'd recommend referencing our API documentation um, for those for guidance on that. But when it comes to making quotes payable specifically, it's really pretty straightforward. Um, if we scroll down here, we will see uh, that there's basically a few parameters here, the same ones from the documentation um, that I've added to the code. Now, um, these parameters uh, do allow you to make some adjustments, right? So if you want to collect billing address, yes or no, that's up to you. Do you want to accept credit card and ACH, just one or the other? Um, that's all up to your discretion. Um, one, uh, one thing I would really call out, though, is this HS payment type. Um, depending on what processor you use with us, that process, uh, that value will change. So just be cognizant of that. Um, otherwise, it should be a really straightforward process. Um, now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like with a deal, right? So if we look back at this workflow action, it's, you know, when a deal stage changes to generate quote, it's going to run that code. Um, and so here I have this deal that I creatively named, wow, a payable quote. Um, and we can see that there is no quote associated with it. I'm going to go ahead and run that code uh, or trigger that workflow, I should say. Now, while that's loading, uh, this is a pretty straightforward application, right? Generate a payable quote once a deal stage is updated. Um, we are so excited to see what the developer community does with this new ability because uh, it really opens up Pandora's box in what's possible through Commerce Hub. Um, you know, you could calculate taxes in an external system, add those to the quotes and make those quotes payable. Um, you could even have uh, an external system be the thing that generates the quotes, right? Not anything necessarily run through a, a custom coded action. And so uh, we're really excited to see what you all get up to. Now, let's go ahead and hit refresh here. Great. And so if we scroll down, we will see a quote. And now if we open it up, we can see, wow, a payable quote. There's a pay now button. Um, everything that we see past this button, so once I hit click here, is what we configured with those parameters, right? Um, and so that is the process. Uh, thanks for watching, and we're really excited to see what y'all get up to with this new functionality. Bye-bye.